Well, sharing life with a pet simply makes everything better. The human canine bond grows stronger as dogs become older. That's captured in Jane Sobel Klonsky's book, Unconditional Older Dogs, Deeper Love. Featured in the book, Buddy, the Beagle, and owner Evan Shaw. Nice to have you all on the show. Thank you. And Buddy's a good looking beagle, isn't he? Yes, he nice. is. So Jane, what moment prompted you to say, hey, I have to write this book? Okay, this is kind of crazy. I mean, I, <laughs> no, I, my life is all about photography, and, but my passion has always been dogs. Oh. But in April of 2012, and I always wanted to combine those two passions, I'm sitting in my insurance broker's office, and Angela was sitting there at her desk, and she had, she had Clementine, her big, huge bulldog, laying in the bed right next to oh. her desk, and she had her arm stretched out and her hand on Clemmy's side, and it was like a little light bulb went off. I, I gotta realized, do this. Yeah, I, real, no, I realized it was all, I wanted to document the relationships that people have with their dogs. Why senior dogs? Well, yeah, not knowing then, I asked her if she would be my first subject. She said that Clementine had cancer, oh. and yeah, it was kind of sad, but um, we photographed the next day. Clemmy lived another 10 months, but I realized Clemmy was 13 years old, mm -hmm. and I realized through those pictures that there was something really special and poignant about senior dogs. They just mm -hmm. had so much love to give. They were Absolutely. so wise. Yeah. Um, they taught us so much about living in the moment. So that's what I wanted to do. How did you find the canines? Oh dear. <laughs> Another <laughs> question. <laughs> um, at first it was all word through mouth. Uh -huh. Word of mouth. I live in Vermont. So it was all friends, then friends of friends, and friends of friends of friends. And then I decided I, a year later I needed to take it on the road. And I knew a lot of people around the country, slept yeah. on a lot of couches. And, and, and there it and went. Also, and, yeah, and so I had friends, and then I connected with the organizations. Well, and of course, one of the dogs and owners featured in the book is Evans Shaw, right here from Colorado, and his dog, Buddy. How old is Buddy the Beagle? But it's about 14 years old. Wow. How long have you had Buddy? About 13 years. 13 years? Where did you find Buddy? Buddy was walking the streets of Denver Aww. without identif identification. And you gave Buddy a good and home. And he was rescued and taken to the Bola Humane Society, and that's where we met. Why is Buddy so special to you? Well, in retirement, I found time that was unoccupied. I had lots of things to do. And but I feel that uh, gap. Oh, that's so sweet. Do you have any like funny moments, special moments from Buddy? Well, beagles have bad habits and good habits. Yeah. One that's of the bad true. habits, they'll put their nose to the grind and go forever <laughs> and get lost and not return. And, and the, the concern, not having him back home again. Mm -hmm. But getting a phone call at 2 o'clock in the morning from a bartender saying, we have your dog. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy the Beagle's here. <laughs> and we think it was because of the place where we would go for lunch, uh -huh. and he smelled the hamburgers. Oh. And when I dine, Buddy gets part of the meal because of the doggy bag. Oh, <laughs> bless your heart. Yeah. Do you feel like your love and Buddy's love for you is growing stronger as you all get older? I think so, and Buddy never has to say he's sorry because there's never a need for it. Aww. <laughs> now, Jane, what do you hope th that your book offers people watching? Look at that, a Buddy. That is just too cute. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Buddy's happy. Yeah, Buddy's really happy. So what are you hoping people take from your book? I think that I hope that they spend more time with their own dogs, mm -hmm. that they give them an extra pet take them for an extra walk, right. just realize just how important that they are in their lives. And, you know, I think people tend to, when, when dogs get older, people get older, they, I don't know, they just yeah. tend not to spend as much time. Almost, or, or, yeah, to forget uh, about yeah, it. Yeah, and they need to be more responsible, and I want, if there's so much joy. Tonight, so you have a book signing at Tattered Cover, Aspen Grove, yes. 7 p.m., and tell me about your special guests. So I have two adoptable dogs oh. from National Mill Dog Rescue, and um, they will be there. So I'm very excited that they're joining me. That's so sweet. So somebody could come and adopt them. They could. That's well, wonderful. Tattered could, Cover. Yep, they could find out about it. It's fabulous. Okay, Tattered Cover tonight, 7 o'clock in Aspen Grove. Oh, what have you learned personally by putting this book together and learning all of these canines and, and their owners? Oh, geez. Well, I've learned I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned that I can actually accomplish something that I mean that that I really go after. Mm -hmm. That I've learned that um, I've learned a lot about my relationship with my own dogs. Uh, I have two senior dogs, and I think I just 
Right. I'm spending more time with them. I'm valuing their, their relationships. That's beautiful. You know? Well, so Colorado loves their animals and their dogs, so I'm sure it's going to be quite successful at the Tattered Cover tonight. Nice to meet you, Evan, Thank and you. Buddy the Dog, Buddy the Beagle. Thank, Thank you, you so much for coming Thank on the you. show, my friend. Okay, you can pick up your own unconditional older dog's deeper love tonight, 7 o'clock at Tattered Cover in Aspen Grove. Yes, Jane will be there also. She'll have two adoptable dogs with her. Check out Jane's website, projectunconditional.info. Sign up for her newsletter. View more pictures and videos. You can even share your senior dog story. I'll see y'all back here tomorrow at 10 a.m. God bless. There's Buddy the Beagle. What a cute dog. <laughs>